Point Weather Super 7-Day Forecast. That's fascinating to me. I didn't know that the water would protect it that well. Dinosaur yeah. prints, yeah. some would argue Bigfoot prints. Uh, I don't know. No. It's a huge <laughs> foot. It's a very large foot. But again, whatever it is, that is definitely impressive. It's probably dinosaurs. Though. All right, at 549, let's go ahead and start things off outside. It is a gorgeous evening to your Tuesday. Again, we had toasty conditions this afternoon, but we're starting to see some relief finally out there just ahead of your sunset. 73 degrees right now is what we're tracking in downtown with some light winds coming out of the south ranging from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Most of us along the beaches are currently in the 70s, spanning from Oceanside or much warmer area. 75 degrees. Meanwhile, low 70s from Carlsbad all the way down to IV. The more east you travel towards those inland valleys, about 10 degrees warmer. 83 right now in Escondido, 82 in Poway, 86 right now in Julian. And of course, the hot spot continues to be our deserts in the low hundreds, but 110 in Ocotillo Wells. Monsoon storm activity has really picked up over the past few hours. This tracks activity over the past three hours and you could see that we are seeing some severe cell activity just near the riverside. San Diego border along the 79 just east of Palma Valley. So again, if you're traveling anywhere near there, keep in mind you could encounter dry conditions, then all of a sudden be caught in a downpour. It looks like monsoon storm activity will really increase looking ahead to tomorrow. Monsoon flow will tap into some of this moisture, and when it does, we'll take a look in just a moment at which uh, hour it will really peak and which areas it will affect. So weather headlines as we kick off the second half of your week. Active mountain thunderstorms as I mentioned tomorrow and Thursday afternoon and the main threats are going to be flash flooding and gusty winds. Then looking ahead to the weekend, we do have some relief in terms of cooler air arriving Saturday and Sunday thanks to the increase of onshore flow. So coastal areas again, it'll look like the warmest days for the rest of the week through Friday, dipping a few degrees this weekend. As we zoom on into tomorrow's forecast again, as you drop the kids off at school, they may be kind of cool in the morning. We'll start off in the mid to upper 60s, then we'll heat up by about 10 degrees by the lunchtime hours and we won't get much warmer than that. We'll top out near 80 degrees by pickup time. Looking ahead to tomorrow for the inland seven day forecast mid to upper 80s for the next several days. As we take a look at some of those inland highs and compare tomorrow versus today we will be at a few degrees uh, cooler. Actually, as I mentioned, we start to cool down as early as tomorrow and the real cool down comes this week and especially for the inland valleys we will drop down to the low 80s by Saturday and Sunday. Meanwhile, mountain areas, as I mentioned, the peak activity happening tomorrow afternoon, a few hours before sunset, then it diminishes tomorrow night, but it looks like the greatest chances of severe thunderstorm activity will be around the noontime, really picking up around 2 to 4 p.m. again before weakening tomorrow evening, and then it picks back up again for Thursday. Diminishing Friday, but some of that mountain st storm activity could linger into your Friday afternoon. Low hundreds for the desert areas, close to 110 by Friday. Kimberly.